Hello and welcome back. This next excerpt from Neville Goddard is about reflecting or affecting. Which one are you doing? Here's what he says. Most of us are reflecting life and not affecting it. Your inner speech mirrors your mind and your mind mirrors God. If you do not change your thoughts, you haven't changed their activity. And if you do not change their activity, the conditions of your life cannot change, for they are only bearing witness to the inner action of your mind. I'm sure at one point we've all heard that Henry Ford famous quote. You know, the first part of the quote that says, whether you think you can or you think you cannot, you're right. Well, Alan Watts also said it. He said, as a man think if therefore he is. And the Bible says, well, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. All of those things are saying exactly the same thing. However you perceive yourself to be is how your life will be. If you think you are the shiznit, if you think that you are phenomenal, if you think that you are the greatest, Muhammad Ali, we don't call him the greatest of all time just because we have mouths. We call him the greatest of all time because he said he is the greatest. And we just reflected back to him that which he believed of himself. So look at what's happening here. The way you see yourself, the way you think, has a direct influence on whether you will reflect what is happening in your world or you will affect it. And I told you we would talk about self-concept until, well, we got tired of hearing it and started doing something about it. A good place to start with this change is with Neville and how he says, he says, if you don't like this thing, then assume the state that you want to be. So if you want to be more calm instead of, you know, flying off the handle, then assume that you're calm and behave as though you're calm. Practice your states akin to sleep with your calmness. And sooner or later, you will see reflected out into your world, your calmness. But you have to start with the recognition of the thing or the awareness of the thing that you want to change, the state you want to change. It always starts there. That's the first step, being aware of the thing that you want to change. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. We're all on this journey together, so we may as well get to know each other better. Much love.